February 9th, 1989. Vasula writes, The Lord woke me up at midnight and asked me to write down a message. The Lord speaks, I have called you, Vasula. Hear me. Be firm, be firm like a rock. Do not be like quicksand. I have chosen you in spite of your weakness. Nevertheless, I knew you would not swallow up my words like quicksand. My word shall be placed on you, engraved on you, and they will lie there for everyone to read. Vasula, think. Would a farmer choose to toil and cultivate a rich soil to sow his grains, or would he go and throw his grains in swamps and quicksand? My Vasula, what have you to fear? Pray for discernment. Vasula, I will write now my programme for the meeting of the 17th. Then I shall also write down my message to them. My child, you will sanctify the hall with incense and holy water. You will pray the exorcism prayer to St. Michael. Vasula writes, Here God made me understand that the rest of the programme is to be left into my private copy book. The Lord speaks. Good. Vasula, you have understood. Come, here is my message. My word is light, my word is peace and love, my word is unity and hope. Come to me and read my word more often. Beloved ones, it is I, Jesus the Merciful One, Jesus your Saviour, who descends through this weak instrument to engrave on her my words. I descend in this darkness out of my infinite love and mercy. I descend in this wilderness and this aridity to pour out my spirit on you. Creation, I descend to irrigate this earth ever so dry and make rivers out of this thirsty soil. I descend to pour out my blessings on you like morning dew. I come to dispel all evil and uproot all iniquity, replacing them by peace and love. Today my lips are parched from thirst of love. I need love from them. I am thirsty for love. How my sacred heart desires you to learn to love me. How I desire you to reach the zenith of love and hear you cry out, the cry of love, Abba. Then, only then, my wounds will begin to heal. How I desire that my priests draw from my infinite love and fill up their heart. My love for them is great, so great, that not until they are in heaven will they understand its fullness. Devotion should be their banner. Fidelity their torch, purity their festal gown, and love their emblem, so that my lambs recognise me in them and see clearly my image. My shepherds I want pure, so that in their purity their fruit will be whole. Rejoice my sacred heart and obey fully my commandments. To love is to follow my commandments. Love one another. O children of my light, listen to my words and live them. Live them. If you listen to me, I will offer you peace as your banner and love will be your crown. I will renew you if you open yourselves entirely to me. Trust me, I will renew you and make out of you a new nation, a pure nation. Live my message. Meditate on my message. Come to me with love. Follow my footprints which will lead you to me in my house which is your home too. 
do not hesitate. Even though you are imperfect, I will open my arms to you. Even though your love is tepid, fall into my arms, and I, who am master of love, will teach you to love me, and show to you how to love one another. Come to me even those who do not love me. I have forgiven you. Come, and I shall heal you. Blessed are you all who believe, yet have not seen. Blessed are my little souls, for on these I have a love of predilection. Remain small and simple. Never try to be something. Stay small, so that you will be able to creep into the depths of my sacred heart. Be like children, with a childlike faith, for this is what pleases my Father. Never cease praying. Please me and pray with your hearts. I desire you to pray for the unity of my body. I desire you to pray for the Pope and the Patriarch. I desire you to pray for all the priests. Pray for the sheep that are not under the guidance of Peter to return to Peter and reconcile. Pray so that you may be one but one fold and one shepherd. Pray for peace, unity and a greater love among you. Pray that you may praise me all around one tabernacle. Unite, my beloved, and be one, like my Father and I are one and the same. I bless you all from the core of my heart. My Vasula, will you write down my message? Our Lady speaking. She answers, Yes, Holy Mother. Our Lady speaks, Peace be with you. My beloved ones, today I will ask you all to augment your prayers for unity, this unity that my son desires so much. Pray for those priests who are dispersed to return to the fold, the one and only fold of Peter. Pray that they may unite with sincerity. Pray for peace and for those children who are not reconciled with God. Pray for those false kingdoms, those floating kingdoms, that they may understand how wrong they are. Come and praise the living God, who manifests himself in different places these days. Praise him for his infinite love and mercy. His graces will continue to pour on all humanity. Let those who receive him bless his holy name. Bless him, for he is a loving Father. All those that have ears, let them hear this loud cry from heaven. Be holy, for I am holy. My flowers, live our message. Live our message. You have obtained all his mercy. Try to understand God's will. Be his children of light. I bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.